your view on the widening trade deficit and the impact it could have on the markets? Morning. Um, so we've seen this trend continue now for two months, uh, really. Uh, both April and May saw $13 billion plus of trade deficit. I think uh, a few signs to uh, make us sit up and take notice. Uh, one is, of course, as you mentioned, gold imports uh, were high in April and have continued in May as well. Uh, also, the non-oil, non-gold imports have also been uh, clicking up. Um, and, and you would recall that April was a time when dollar rupee actually breached 65 and, and went into the low 64s. Now, it, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, actually show causality and say that because rupee is strengthening and therefore imports are going up, but th that does have a logical tinge to it. So it's quite possible that because rupee is strengthening, particularly against currencies such as the, the CNY, the Chinese yuan, uh, maybe uh, mm. both gold as well as non-gold <coughs> non non imports. But Anand, with this number, such a huge number coming 3.85 for two months in a row, would now rupee start weakening? Look, uh, it's like this, uh, Lata. The, the overall macro situation is look, still looking uh, reasonably positive. The fact is oil is still way below 50. Um, we're still seeing robust flows come in from the equity markets. And um, in general, the, the buzz about India remains positive. Having said that, there are clearly signs of vulnerability. Uh, one is, I think, over the past few months, uh, a certain level of complacency has been built up. We have seen exporters uh, increasing their hedges. We have seen importers staying away from hedging. We've seen uh, a bulk of the FIF flows which come in, uh, coming in unhedged, and plus uh, borrowings happening in foreign currency on an unhedged basis. Now, um, that kind of uh, complacency of increased unhedged exposures doesn't all go well. So given this vulnerability and given the fact that maybe a stronger rupee is resulting in higher imports, um, I think uh, India Incorporated will be well placed to start buying insurance. Uh, nobody expects rupee to beat 65, 65 half, and maybe precisely for that reason, it may be well advised to start buying insurance in the form of uh, option protection, uh, just in case rupee happens to go to 66 or 67, uh, to buy protection at those levels. And by the way, volatility levels are pretty cheap for you to buy that insurance. Oh yes, uh, Anand, thanks a lot uh, for that quick take. Uh, have a good day. Uh, that's the view from Sanchai.